Eh, it's raining out today. Guess I'll have to do indoor stuff. I know. I'm going to change the crown stem on my Seiko Samurai. When I replace the movement, I use the old crown stem. But I don't think it's working quite right. It's kind of tight when I pull it out. So I'm going to replace it on this episode of Adventures with Time. So this is the watch we're talking about, and I had replaced the original movement, which was a 4R35, with a new NH35 movement from Seiko, because the original was really performing poorly. Now I've come to believe that it's magnetized, and in another video I'm going to play around with that and see if I can demagnetize it. Now after I put in the new movement, the watch is operating very nicely, except for one thing, and I'll show you that now. When I unscrew the crown, there's supposed to be three positions. The winding position, or hand winding position, the quick set for the date, and the hack, or time setting position. And those exist, except the available movement of the crown in and out with the stem is very limited. I mean, I'm pulling it out all the way, and it you didn't feel any click, and I didn't have very much room to move the crown. In fact, to get to the date set, you sort of have to try it a couple of times. So what I think is happening, or what I hope is happening, is that when I replaced this original movement with the new one, I continued to use the old crown and crown stem and did not replace the crown stem with the one that came with the new movement. I plopped it back in here into the old NH35. And I think, or I hope, that's the issue such that if I replace that crown stem with the one that came with the new movement, it should work as expected. I should get more tactile feel to moving the crown in and out. So what I'm going to need to do that is obviously the crown stem that came with that new movement, which I said I put it back in the old original movement. need my case back remover and I'll need some tweezers, which I already have, a dust cover for any parts I take out. Now I've watched several videos on how to do this and I think I've determined how I want to do it. I'm going to need a marker. I'm going to need my digital chronometer to measure how much to cut off, if any, of the crown stem. To cut the crown stem, I've purchased on Amazon this little or mini end cutting pliers. I think they only cost me about 11 or 12 bucks. And I purchased a pack of mini diamond files so that once I cut the crown stem, I can file it down so the crown will screw on to the end. And of course, I have my Rodico or Rodico to take off any bits of dirt or anything that's on there. So let's begin and I'll show you how I'm going to go through this. Now I noticed that in addition to the stem that's in the watch, they provided another perhaps longer crown stem. Um, so rather than trying to pry this plastic crown off of that, I'm going to just use this new one since I'm going to have to cut it anyway. So what I need to do is take the stem off of here and we'll do a quick comparison. Okay, let's put this back in here. Let's compare these two. They tend to roll away, so let's put this here. Let me put the macro lens on so we can do a quick comparison. So after inspecting this crown and stem system for a little bit, I realized that this stem is actually permanently connected to the stem. I looked at a few videos. There's actually a collar here that the stem is fed through this way, and then that collar is glued to the crown. And that's why there's some wiggle on the stem. 
And after closer inspection of the actual gasket here that provides the watertight seal, I see that it's pretty much worn and actually degrading a bit. And I think that as it is pulled in and out of this stem tube or crown tube, there's friction going on in there and actually maybe even pieces of the gasket being worn away into that tube. And that may be why I'm not getting nice smooth action on the popping or releasing of the crown. So I think what I'm gonna do is replace that gasket. I did order a replacement gasket here and I got some uh, sealant silicone and uh, we'll see if that improves things. One of the first things I wanna do is make sure there's no pieces of rubber in that tube. The only way I can really tell that is by sticking a toothpick in to see if I can clean any of that out. I'm getting a little dirt as you can see here. I'm not sure there is much of anything in there. I'll try to blow some of it out. And again, I'm not an expert, so Tell me what you guys think if I'm maybe getting things worse by doing this. Having that cleaned out, let me try to replace the gasket. Get the new gasket out here. I got this online. I told them the case. They told me the part number. I hope it's the right gasket. I got this silicone grease. This gasket is so small that it's easy to lose, which... So it's right here, and I need to get this old gasket off. I do have this pin vise, which I will use to hold the stem. And again, I don't know the appropriate tool to use, but I'm just using a safety pin to see if I can get this gasket off. Falling apart as I pull it off. There you go. Undo this and take that old one off. I'm gonna pick this new gasket up with my tweezer and just sort of press it in to this pad. This is a sponge that is impregnated with grease. Hopefully that's enough. And now I'm going to put it on the stem and see if I can get it down onto the actual crown where it belongs. I'm sure there's a proper way of doing this. Trying not to stretch it. And maybe if I hold it down with my thumb on one side. Okay, I think I got it on there. I'm gonna switch to my macro lens to check it out. As you can see, the inner diameter and the outer diameter of the gasket seems to be correct. It just seems to be thinner than the space intended for the gasket. So I'm not sure if it's the right one or maybe I need two gaskets. Okay, let's see how this feels when I put it back into the stem. Okay, now we just gonna put the case back on. So from everything I can tell, which isn't that much, this part number is the appropriate gasket for this watch. So I don't know if it just needs to flatten out or if I actually have the wrong part. But now when I screw out the crown, I get good pops. I don't know if you can hear that. I've got a few queries out to see if others think this is the right gasket or if I need a different gasket. What I don't want is for this to be the wrong gasket and when I go in the water, it leaks. So I'll let you know. In the meantime, perhaps you'd be interested in this video, which is around my Islander dive watch, a very good watch, and my other beater watch, which is the Russian Vostok Komardansky. Until my next video, thanks for watching.